Hi everyone, welcome back to the Virtual Pub Quiz channel. My name's Jay and I'm the host of the Virtual Pub Quiz um, and the creator of the Virtual Pub Quiz here on YouTube for Thursday and Saturday nights. So this is a bit of a different video. Um, unfortunately last night, I know a lot of you may have um, been trying to look for the live quiz from last night to play it as you meet up with friends etc. We had a couple of problems on the live stream last night, a couple of technical issues which meant that in the first break we flipped the stream over while we reset some software and when it automatically uploaded to YouTube later on it meant that it started from the answers for rounds one and three. Now that's no good to anyone because if you wanted to play afterwards you wouldn't have had the questions and you'd have just had the answers straight away. So there was no point keeping the video up. So I said I'll pre-record, um, so re-record it with um, the questions and the answers. So this video will just be uh, the 50 questions. So you'll have um, rounds one to three, Same. it'll be the same format as normal on Thursday. So you have rounds one to three, then we'll give you the answers for round one to three, rounds four to five, and give you the answers to rounds four to five. Um, what that means, because it's recorded, the questions might go a little bit quicker, but they will still be on, on screen, so it will look exactly the same as it would do normally on a Thursday and a Saturday. And you'll you'll have, so you if, if the questions are going too quick or uh, if you need more time, obviously there won't be that extended break that you normally get because it's, you know, the... Uh, replay of the live stream so all you need to do at the end of round three and i'll let you know when just pause the video then you can take all the time in the world just to make sure you've got your answers right before we go into them so that's the only difference other than that everything will will look and feel the same as it does normally on a thursday and a saturday live stream on the replay so let's get into it uh, so we've got 30 questions first round is return is the return of your music lyrics round some like it some hate it um there's some good ones in here let's see how you get on so number one, and we only just need the uh, need the name of the song. That's all we need. I'll tell the uh, I'll give you the artist when I give you the answers. So number one, pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The sight of you makes me weak. So pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The sight of you makes me weak. Number two, if you see a faded, faded, we're off. If you see a faded sign by the side of the road that says 15 miles, so if you see a faded sign by the side of the road that says 15 miles, number three, so I put my hands up, they're playing my song, and the butterflies fly away. So I put my hands up, they're playing my song, and the butterflies fly away. Number four, this hit, that ice cold, Michelle Pfeiffer, that white gold. So this hit, that ice cold, Michelle Pfeiffer, that white gold. Remember, you can pause these at any point if you need more time. Uh, number five, I come home in the morning light. My mother says, when are you going to live your life right? So I come home in the morning light. My mother says, when are you going to live your life right? Number six, hey, where did we go? Days when the rain came. Down in the hollow, playing a new game. So, hey, where did we go? Days when the rain came. Down in the hollow, playing a new game. Number seven. She's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories. So, she's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories. Number eight. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. 
So hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number. Number nine, poor old Johnny Ray. Sounded sad upon the radio. He moved a million hearts in mono. So poor old Johnny Ray. Sounded sad upon the radio. He moved a million hearts in mono. And finally then, number ten. She played the fiddle in an Irish band but she fell in love with an Englishman. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hand. So remember it's name the song for all of those 10. Remember you can, oh excuse me, remember you can go back, whatever you need to do, um, as this is the recorded one, so you're not gonna, be, no sort of time limit for you. Round two was science and nature. And we started with this. What are the two main elements of steel? So what are the two main elements of steel? Number two, what is iron oxides more commonly, uh, I'll start again, what is iron oxides more common name? So what is iron oxides more common name? Number three, the colon is another name for what part of the digestive system? So the colon is another name for what part of the digestive system? Number four, what type of animal was Eeyore? So what type of animal was Eeyore? Number five, the T-Rex had four legs, but could it use the front two to walk on? So the T-Rex had four legs, but could it use the front two to walk on? Number six, which royal forest is located in the county of Nottinghamshire? Which royal forest is located in the county of Nottinghamshire? Number seven, where can you find the rattle on a rattlesnake? Where can you find the rattle on a rattlesnake? Number eight, what type of creature would live in an aviary? aviary? I got that wrong last night as well, couldn't pronounce it. So what type of creature would live in an aviary? Number nine, a female elephant is known as a cow. What is a male elephant known as? So a female elephant is known as a cow. But what is a male elephant known as? And finally, number 10. If an animal lives uh, part of its life, part of its life, both on land and in water, it is known as what? So if an animal lives part of its life both on land and in water, it is known as what? OK, 
Okay, so next and finally for this round, we had a fi finalist for part of the quiz. We had a picture round, uh, 10 random pictures, all sorts of different categories in there and different eras as well. And we started with this. Who is this man? So who is this man? So remember, if you need a bit more time on the pictures, because I, I am going a little bit quicker as a recorded video, but just pause them if you need to. While they're on screen, just pause them if you need a bit more time. Number two. Now, this caused a bit of controversy on the quiz last night because of the sound issues. The, the actual question didn't come out right. So it's who, will, who was she married to? Not who she, is she married to. It's who was she married to? Who was this lady married to? Number three, name the TV show. So name the TV show. Number four, name the film. Name the film from that picture. Number five, name the musical. So name the musical. Number six, name the theme park. Number seven, name the TV show. Name the TV show for number seven. just realised I'm half in darkness as well. I'm about to move the light around. Number eight. Now, what famous line was Prince Charles saying here? So what was the famous line that Prince Charles was saying here? Number nine, name the music app. So name the music app. Finally, number 10, name the reality TV star. So name the reality TV star. So that was your first part of the quiz. So as you know, normally on the live quizzes, we take a break at this point, um, might have some videos or whatever it might be. So I'm not gonna put those in. Um, what I'll do is, so if you need more time, cause normally like say you'd have 15 minutes on the live video to sort of do whatever you need to do if you're watching it live um, or watching live replay and playing along. So if you need more time, which more than likely you're going to need more time, uh, all you need to do is pause. Oh, hang on, let me do my first bit. So if you need, you know, if you want to pause it in a second and you want to rewind and have a look at some of those pictures again because it went too quick or if you missed some of the questions, it's a great thing about the, the recorded video. You can go back at any point and go and have a look. So other than that, if you want to pause the video now, and welcome back. Those of you who've watched the specialist quizzes know exactly what that's all about. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll go through the answers then for the first uh, 30 questions, as we would do normally at this point on the live quiz. And then we'll move on to rounds four and five. So let's give you some answers. Hopefully you're all ready. 
there we go. So round one, it was your music lyrics round. So number one, pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The sight of you makes me weak. He can't take my eyes off of you by Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Number two, if you see a faded sign by the side of the road that says 15 miles to the Love Shack by the B-52s. Or the BC-52s if it was in the Flintstones movie. Number three, so I put my hands up and they're playing my song and the butterflies fly away. It was Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Number four, this hit, that ice cold Michelle Pfeiffer, that white gold, was Uptown Funk, Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. Number five, I come home in the morning light. My mother says, when are you going to live your life right? Girls just want to have fun, Cindy Lauper. Number six, hey, where did we go? Days when the rain came. Down in the Hollow, playing a new game was Brown Eyed Girl, Van Morrison. Remember, you only know you need the song title for the point. Number seven, she's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories. Sweet child of mine, Guns N' Roses. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy, but here's my number. So Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. Call Me Maybe. Number nine, poor old Johnny Ray. Sounded sad upon the radio. He moved a million hearts in mono. It's Come On Eileen by Dexie's Midnight Runners. And finally, number 10. She played the fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an English man. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hand. It was Galway Girl by Ed Sheeran. Science and nature number one. What are the two main elements of steel? It's carbon and iron. You needed both for the point. I should have stressed that. You needed both for the point. Number two. What is iron oxide's more common name? It is rust. Number two, the colon is another name for what part of the digestive system? It is the large intestine. Number four, what type of animal was Eeyore? He was a donkey. Number five, the T-Rex had four legs, but could it use the front two to walk on? No, they were too small. Number six, which royal forest is located in the county of Nottinghamshire? It is Sherwood Forest. Number seven, where can you find the rattle on a rattlesnake? It is in their tail. Number eight, what type of creature would live in an aviary? It was birds. Number nine, a female elephant is known as a cow. What is a male elephant known as? It is a bull. And finally, number 10. If an animal lives part of its life, both on land and in water, it is known as what? An amphibian. So your pictures then look like this. Number one, who is this guy? It is Joe Wicks. Number two, who was she married to? So she was married to Ryan Reynolds. I know she's married to another gentleman now, but the question was, who was she married to? Number three, name the TV show. It was The Clangers. Number four, name the film. It was Animal House. Number five, name the musical. It was Wicked. Number six, name the theme park. It was Alton Towers. Number seven, name the TV show. It was the Tweenies. 
Number eight, what was the famous line that Prince Charles was saying here? I think this was a Children in Need or Comic Relief sketch where all the previous people who had played Hamlet uh, all got on stage to give their own interpretations on the line, but it was to be or not to be. That is the question. Well, no, that's the answer, not the question. You know what I mean. Number nine, name the music app. It's Spotify. Finally, number 10, name the reality star. It was Spencer Matthews. Okay, so that's the first part of the quiz completed as we normally would do on a live quiz. So we've got two rounds to go. Sports and Leisure is back and of course, general knowledge. So uh, if you're all ready, if you're not, you just need to pause the video now, but if you're all ready, let's have a look at round four. So number one, Exeter City and Newcastle United have different grounds, but what is the shared name? So their two grounds have the same name. What is it? Number two, which country has hosted the most summer and winter Olympic games combined? So which country has hosted the most summer and winter Olympic games combined? So number three, which of the following events are not protected? It means it doesn't have to be shown on terrestrial TV. So as explained last night on the quiz, you've got the, there's a certain load of events that have to be shown. They can be shown on pay TV, but they have to be shown on free to air TV as well. Um, so the events are UEFA Champions League, the Grand National, the FA Cup Final or Wimbledon. So which of those has to, uh, doesn't have to be shown on terrestrial TV? Number four, in darts, if I was to hit a single top, a double top, and a bullseye, what would my score be? So single top, double top, and a bullseye. What would my score be? Number five, in rugby union, how many more players on a team are on the pitch than a rugby league team? So how many more rugby union players are on the pitch above a rugby league team? Number six, ollie, 180 and kickflip are terms in which sport stroke hobby? Some people class it as a sport, a lot of people class it as a hobby. So I thought I'd cover my bases and say sport or hobby. So Ollie 180 and kickflip are terms in which sport stroke hobby. Number seven, what main tool would you need if you were knitting and cross stitching? So what main tool would you need if you were knitting and cross stitching? Number eight, Audible has an app that has what as its main contents? So Audible has an app that has what as its main contents? Number nine, if you were given an Airfix or Revel kit, what would you be expecting to do? Would it be paint a, uh, sorry, paint a picture, build a model, or make some Ikea furniture? So if you were given an Airfix or Revel kit, what would you be expecting to do? Paint a picture, build a model, or make some Ikea furniture? And finally then, for, uh, for Sports and Legend number 10, what is the main thing and the more common thing 
that you would need for decoupage. So what is the main and more common thing that you would need for decoupage? Okay, random general knowledge to finish off, starting with number one. Which of these is not, I repeat, not a William Shakespeare play? Is it As You Like It, Romeo and Juliet, or Tamburlaine? So which of the following is not a William Shakespeare play? As You Like It, Romeo and Juliet, or Tamburlaine? Number two, Dan Osborne is married to which former EastEnders actress? Number three, Lipton is a drink made of what? So Lipton is a drink made of what? Number four, David Harbour played Jim Hopper in which Netflix series? So David Harbour, Harbour played Jim Hopper in which Netflix series? Number five, in terms of square meters, which is the biggest castle in the United Kingdom? In terms of square metres, which is the biggest castle in the UK? Number six, what was the biggest selling book of the last decade? So what was the biggest selling book of the last decade? Number seven, in which century was the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci painted? Was it the 14th, the 15th or the 16th century? So in which century was the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci painted? 14th, 15th or 16th centuries? Number eight, which of these is the most played mobile game by player count of all time? Pokemon Go, Fruit Ninja or Angry Birds? Number nine, what book was J.R. Hartley looking for? in the Yellow Pages advert. So what book was J.R. Hartley looking for in the Yellow Pages advert? And finally, number 10, who is the current newsreader on Zoe Ball's breakfast show on BBC Radio 2? So who is the current newsreader on Zoe Ball's breakfast show on BBC Radio 2?
Okay, so that is your quiz questions for this week. Um, I will give you the answers surely. So if you need some more time, not a problem at all. It's recorded video, so there isn't going to be a long sort of break or sort of five minute break that we have at this point on the live shows. So there isn't going to be any of that. So you'll need to pause the video yourself. So if you want to do that now, and welcome back. So yeah, all you need to do, uh, hopefully you've got all your answers together for the last two rounds. It's like I say, it's just a little bit different tonight with um, the problems that we had on the live stream, but at least this way you've still got the quiz and that's what I wanted to make sure that those of you who weren't able to join us on Thursday night were still able to, to uh, play the quiz. And even with the technical problems that we had, still had over 140,000 people watching, which is absolutely brilliant. I know we lost some with the crossovers, but I think we still got 120,000 of those back, so brilliant. Here's the answers then for rounds four and five. Oops. Uh, number one, Exeter City and Newcastle United have different grounds, but what is the shared name? It's St. James's Park. Number two, which country has hosted the most summer and winter Olympic Games combined? It is the USA. Which of the following events are not protected and means it doesn't have to be shown on terrestrial TV? UEFA Champions League final, Grand National, FA Cup final or Wimbledon? It is the UEFA Champions League final. So that doesn't have to be shown on uh, terrestrial TV. Number four, in darts, if I was to hit a single top, a double top and a bullseye, what would my score be? So a single top is 20, a double top would be 40, so that gives me 60, and a bullseye is 50, which gives me a total of 110. If I could hit 110 in darts, I would be very impressed. I have just been started to learn how to play. Number five, in rugby union, how many more players on a team are on the pitch than a rugby league team? So it's two. There's 15 in a rugby union team and 13 in a rugby league team. Number six, Ollie, 180 and kickflip are terms in which a sport stroke hobby? It is skateboarding. Number seven, what main tool would you need if you were knitting and cross stitching? It's of course a needle. Number eight, Audible is an app that has what as its main content? It is audiobooks. Number nine, if you were given an Airfix or Revel kit, what would you be expecting to do? Paint a picture, build a model, or make some IKEA furniture? It is build a model. Finally, number 10, what is the main and most common thing you need for decoupage? It is paper. General knowledge to finish, number one. Which of these is not a William Shakespeare play? Was it As You Like It, Romeo and Juliet, or Tamburlaine? It was Tamburlaine. Christopher Marlowe wrote that. Is it Christopher Marlowe? It's definitely Marlowe. Number two, Dan Osborne is married to which former EastEnders actress? It is Jacqueline Josa, Queen of the Jungle. Number three, Lipton is a drink made of what? It is tea. Number four, David, David Harbour played Jim Hopper in which Netflix series? It was Stranger Things. Number five, in terms of square meters, which is the biggest castle in the United Kingdom? It is Windsor. It's not Barnard Castle, it's definitely Windsor. Number six, what was the biggest selling book of the last decade? It was Fifty Shades of Grey. In fact, all three of the Fifty Shades books are in the top three spots for the last decade. Number seven, in which century was the last supper by Leonardo da Vinci painted? So 14th, 15th or 16th, it was of course the 15th century. Number eight, which of these is the most played mobile game by player count of all time? Pokemon Go, Fruit Ninja or Angry Birds? It is Pokemon Go with over 1 billion active player count. Number nine, what book was J.R. Hartley looking for in the Yellow Pages advert? It was his own book of fly fishing. I remember that advert. 
Finally, number 10, who is the current newsreader on Zoe Ball's breakfast show on BBC Radio 2? It is Tina Dehealy. And so that is your quiz for this week. Sorry, it's a little bit different, but like I said I didn't want to leave the live stream up. And then you sort of, as you come into it, go straight into round uh, into the answers for rounds one to three. So I thought it was best to, to record it. I know a lot of people don't manage to play it on Thursday night and they play it afterwards. So a little bit different, but you've got plenty of space there that you can pause, you can rewind, do whatever you need to do, and you can still play the quiz in the same way. Uh, it's just not got those extended breaks that you can leave it running like you would do normally. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully I've put enough warning in there to pause. Uh, thank you very much for your support, especially over the quiz last night. Um, the 99.9% the .9 of the messages were really supportive, so thank you very much for that. Um, I gave myself a bit of a hard time with the technical issues, but they are they were out of my hands. It's not like I turned the computer on at 7.30 on a Thursday and Saturday night and hope for the best. I am there testing and making sure everything's working just it's technology that's the problem technology and technology and something will invariably break at some point but hopefully we've, as you can see i've recorded this video the microphone's been fine no sound issues so fingers crossed everything will be fine going forward again um but we are speaking i'm gonna make sure there's a lot of, there's some new bits that i've already bought um and there's some old bits and they're, they're obviously not talking to each other properly so i'm now going to upgrade everything so that we're all we're all set and straight so, but yeah, thank you very much for your support as always. Oh, tiebreaker, nearly forgot, nearly forgot. Let's put your tiebreaker on the screen. So how many cities are there in England? So how many cities are there in England? So your answer then is 51. There are 51 cities in England. So there we go. So that now is your quiz for this week. Um, yeah, thank you very much for your support as always. Um, so depending on when you're watching this video, you either know that Jonathan Ross is on the channel tonight, on Friday night. Uh, he will be hosting the Alzheimer's Research UK Takeover. Or failing that, he's been on and the video is still on. And don't forget this week and these last two weeks, we have been supporting a charity very close to my heart, which is the connection at St. Martin's. They're just giving links down below. They missed quite a bit of exposure last night and I have, you know, I've spoken to them about it and I'll try and, you know, focus again on them or do something with them uh, in a few weeks time. But um, yeah, if you can check out the, the Just Giving page, uh, there's a couple of videos around. There's one on my other YouTube channel that's got all the updates and things and bits and pieces and things that are going on. Uh, there's, an up, there's a video on Facebook and there's also a video on the Just Giving page as well. Explains why I've chosen the connection at St. Martin's. So if you do find yourself for a few minutes and if you can take, you know, go and have a look at the Just Giving page and watch the video to see why. And if you can help them, that'd be absolutely superb. Other than that, that's it from me. Thank you very much, as always, for your support. Thank you very much for the messages. And we will see you soon. Take care. Stay safe.